Full pronoun friends. Twelve science. Subject English. First language. Flamingo unit three. Deep water. First of all, we shall go through difficult words. Y M C A. We all know that this is the name of a club, but what is the full form? It is frequently asked questions in general knowledge paper. When you face any competitive examination, either for admission or for job, the full form of Y M C A is frequently asked questions. Young Men's Christian Association. YMCA means Young Man's Christian Association. Yakima. Yakima means a place in Washington. A place in Washington. USA. Subdued means overcame. Aversion. Aversion means dislike. Epping. Epping means copying. Bruiser. Bruiser means Aggressive person. Aggressive person. Duck. Duck means Plumbed under water. Plumbed under water. Throbbed. Throbbed means In series of bits, stork, stork means absolutely.
talk means absolutely speaking speaking means screaming pounding pounding means beating limb limb means lifeless Cascade means waterfall. Cascade means waterfall. Canoes. Canoes means small boats. shed shed means remove vestige Vestige means traces. Vestige means traces. Okay. Why M C A? Full form Young Men's Christian Association. What is the full form of Y M C A? Full form of Y M C A is Young Men's Christian Association. Yakima, a place in Washington, USA. Skinny means thin. Subdued means overcame. Aversion means dislike. What means aversion? Aversion means dislike. Aping means copying. Bruiser means aggressive person. What means bruiser? Bruiser means aggressive person. duck means plunged under water duck means duck means plunged under water throb means feel pain in series of beats what means throb feel pain in series of pain gujarati ma ghani var apne dukhtu hoy to labkara mare che eu kai gujarati ma dukhtu hoy to labkara mare che eu kai In English, what do I throb? Throb means feel pain in series of beats. Stark, it le absolutely. Stark it le tadan saw. Stark means absolutely. Shrieking means screaming. Pounding means beating. Limp means lifeless. Cascade means waterfall. Canoes means small boats. Shed means remove. What means shed? S H E D. Shed means remove. R E M O V E. Shed means remove. Vestige means traces. Now we are switching over to summary of the article. 
It is not a story, it is an article. The story deep waters the story deep waters tells us how the writer overcame his fear of water <laughs> and learned swimming and learned swimming he could do so with sheer with strong determination and will power with strong determination and will power he had developed the fear of water when he was overwhelmed with water with his father on a beach Afterwards,
when he was a teenager A big boy played a prank and threw him in the swimming pool of YMCA in the swimming pool of YMCA He did not know swimming. He was moving towards peaceful death. He was moving towards peaceful death. When he came to conscious, he was lying on the side of the pool. with many boys nearby. The terror then after the terror of what are never left him. This phobia ruined
is pleasure of boarding fishing and swimming but he decided to overcome the phobia He learned swimming with the help of an instructor. even after learning even after learning swimming the terror continued The writer was determined to overcome the terror. at last he conquered the fear he won many awards and prizes in the field of swimming in the field of swimming
the the story the potters tells us how the writer overcame his fear of water and learned swimming the story the potters tells us how the writer overcame his fear of water and learned swimming he could do so with strong determination he could do so with strong determination and will power he could do so with strong determination and will power he had developed the fear of water when he was overwhelmed with water with his father on a beach he had developed the fear of water when he was overwhelmed with water with his father on a beach afterwards when he was a teenager a big boy played a prank and threw him in the swimming pool of ymca afterwards when he was a teenager a big boy played a prank and threw him in the swimming pool of ymca he did not know swimming he he did not know swimming he was moving towards peaceful death he was moving towards peaceful death when he came to conscious he was lying on the side of the pool with many boys nearby when he came to conscious he was lying on the side of the pool with many boys nearby then after the terror of water never left him then after the terror then after the terror of water never left him this phobia this phobia ruined his pleasure of boating fishing and swimming this phobia ruined his pleasure of boating fishing and swimming but he decided to overcome the phobia but he decided but he decided to overcome the phobia he learned swimming with the help of an instructor he learned swimming with the help of an instructor even after learning swimming even after learning swimming the terror continued even after learning swimming the terror continued the writer was determined to overcome the terror the writer was determined to overcome the terror at last he conquered the fear at last he conquered one conquer one winning at last he conquered the fear he was he won i mean he won many awards and prizes in the field of swimming he won many awards and prizes in the field of swimming okay this is the summary of deep water it is very inspiring if we are afraid of something it is a way it is a motivation how can we overcome our fear and indulge in the activity which is required for our success or for our pleasure okay we shall continue with question answers in the next lecture thank you